Well, to get the perspective of just how big it is, you really need to see it from above. Young artists have put the finishing touches on this massive street mural on Woodward downtown, and it simply reads, power to the people. Our Tim Pamplin got to go check it out ahead of tomorrow's big Juneteenth rally. Yes, for celebration that marks the end of slavery in the United States. And a couple dozen Detroit youngsters said they've got a message they want to get out. And the city of Detroit, we're on board. There are so many young black people here, and honestly, we are the spirit. You know, the, the future is in us. Seems like every generation does that, huh? That's world renowned artist Hubert Massey. They want to see change, you know. Came up with the design that will now adorn Woodward between Leonard and Congress. People kept asking, where's the O in power? Well, today the artist put his personal touch, filling in the O. Want to make sure we represent not only the city of Detroit, but people around the world about this, because it needs to be changed. Massey, along with his team of artists, spent the day finishing up the mural and filling in the missing letter. A lot of history involved in this. It looks beautiful, beautiful job. And by early afternoon, the message was complete. Global symbol representing everybody, you know? You know, bringing people together, giving people their due rights, equal rights. And that's what it's all about. And as for one of the young people who came up with the idea. I feel proud, I feel very proud. It's, it's very nice to be a part of something like this. Make something powerful, you know? I, I, I had a part in this. And that's the greatest thing about it to me, that I had a part in it. The epitome of power to the people. That's for seeing downtown, Tim Pamplin, Local 4. Kudos to Mr. Massey, a very we, talented artist. What did we do before we had a drone? Oh, yeah, <laughs> choppers, that's right. <laughs> that wow, cool. it was a great shot. Yeah. Well,